a new robotics company has emerged. And this time, it's not from China, but straight out of the US. Foundation Robotics has just shocked the world by shipping its first ever humanoid robot, the Phantom MK1. And here's why that's a massive deal. While bigger names have been busy flaunting flashy demos with zero real-world deployments, Foundation Robotics just leapfrogged the pack by placing a fully functional humanoid in an actual customer's hands. Welcome back, everyone. Alfie here. Now, you might ask, what's truly groundbreaking about Foundation Robotics? After all, other companies have shipped robots before. But here's the crazy part. It's their radical hardware plus software strategy that makes Phantom MK one feel less like a science fair stunt and more like the first draft of our robotic future. Let's start with their robot brain. Foundation Robotics has thrown yesterday's playbook straight into the recycle bin. Instead of the tired behavior cloning approach that just parrots human motion, Phantom uses state-based reasoning models layered on top of imitation learning. Translation? The robot doesn't merely copy, it infers intent. If a robot watches you twist a screwdriver, can it figure out you're tightening something rather than stirring soup? Phantom's architecture answers with a confident yes. Imagine teaching a bot to assemble a delicate camera gimbal or plate a gourmet meal. Not in weeks, not days, but in a mind-blowing 30 minutes of training. That's because state reasoning compresses only the physics that matter. Contact forces, torque limits, and where every screw should end up. The rest, background clutter, random lighting, is treated as noise the system can ignore. But why does this matter to you? Fewer data requirements mean maybe you can teach phantom new tricks overnight without a data center-sized budget. That democratizes robotics in a way we haven't seen since 3D printers hit the consumer market. Compare that to legacy robotics teams still shackled to pure reinforcement learning. Millions of simulation cycles, painfully hand-tuned reward functions, and endless oops, it fell over again moments. Foundation's hybrid model slices both data needs and dev time by orders of magnitude. The outcome? A brain that's faster, smarter, and shockingly adaptable to chaotic real-world surprises. That's not incremental progress. That's a quantum leap. But wait for the curveball. Foundation's engineers didn't stop at mental acuity. They aimed straight at the long-standing nightmare of humanoid design. Bipedal locomotion. If you've ever watched a clunky robot wobble like a toddler on roller skates, you know how brutal walking really is. Historically, it meant rigid, handcrafted control codes slow, brittle, and frustrating. Foundation flips the script with reinforcement learning used smartly. Rather than micromanaging every joint, they set simple yet powerful goals like stay upright, move toward waypoint, don't collide, and let the algorithm do the rest. Training happens first in high-fidelity simulation where failing is free, then transfers into the real world using Phantom's high-efficiency actuators. To make that transfer painless, engineers employ domain randomization. They deliberately mess with gravity, friction, and even sensor lag inside the simulation. By the time the policy hits hardware, it feels like a holiday because the real world is actually easier than the nightmare scenarios it practiced in. The result? A gait that looks eerily human smooth knee bends, natural arm swings, and rapid recovery from nudges. But here's the crazy part. Early field footage shows Phantom weaving through a cluttered warehouse faster than some interns who know they're late from lunch. If a robot can walk this well today, how long before it jogs alongside you on your morning run? Picture this. It's 2028. Your Phantom MK1 rolls into the garage streams a 10-minute how-to video on brake pad replacement, and, without a single line of code, starts servicing your car. That sci-fi scenario hinges on zero-shot learning, the ability to generalize from web-scale video and language without task-specific retraining. Foundation's roadmap is bold. Every deployed phantom feeds a colossal shared data set of multimodal experience. As that data pool grows, the reasoning engine begins to display emergent skills. Spotting affordances, transferring concepts, even understanding ambiguous human-level instructions. Imagine you mumble, hey, could you grab the red wrench from the far left tray? And Phantom nails it on the first try. What would you make your household robot learn first? Fold laundry or cook dinner? 
Let me know in the comments because Phantom might be taking requests sooner than you think. Of course, a world-class mind needs a body that can keep up. This is where Foundation's design choices put serious daylight between Phantom and headline grabbers like Tesla Bot or Figure Zero Two. Meet Phantom MK1, Foundation Robotics' first production humanoid. This marvel isn't just smart. It's strong, fluid, and almost unsettlingly human-like. Now, before we geek out on limbs and actuators, let's start where all the brains, batteries, and eyes converge, the upper torso. Think of it as Phantom's mission control backpack. Stacked compute boards crunching neural nets locally, stereo cameras feeding real-time vision, and hot swappable battery bricks delivering marathon runtimes. Integrated sensor fusions track vibrations, temperature, torque, and more, meaning Phantom self-diagnoses issues long before a human tech would notice. Once the torso has signed off, it's time for the rest of the body to execute with surgical precision. Phantom's lower half is essentially a rolling physics lab. Advanced balance algorithms synced with proprietary actuators let the robot tackle stairs, gravel paths, even narrow catwalks without the comedic wobble we've come to expect from demoware bots. And speaking of actuators, prepare for a jaw drop. Foundation ditched the decades-old harmonic drive still common in Tesla and figure prototypes and invented a rolling contact cycloid actuator that clocks a staggering 90-95% efficiency. Less energy lost to heat, virtually zero backlash, and whisper-quiet operation. That means heavier payloads, longer shifts, and maintenance cycles measured in years, not weeks. Because the actuator dynamics are so predictable, the dreaded sim-to-real gap shrinks dramatically. Engineers can train policies in simulation and port them to hardware with minor tweaks, cutting deployment time from months to days. It's the difference between neat lab demo and industrial-grade rollout. Imagine placing an online order for new task software on Friday and having your Phantom executed on Monday without an engineer ever visiting the site. Put it all together and you get a humanoid platform that's already clocking hours in real factories while competitors are still polishing keynote demos. Foundation isn't promising the moon. It's already pouring concrete on it. In the global humanoid arms race, Foundation Robotics has elbowed its way to the front by shipping first and iterating fast. So, we've seen what real delivery looks like when a robot actually leaves the lab and clocks a shift. But what happens when the press release races ahead of the product? As the Phantom MK1 rolls onto the factory floor, another headline-grabbing startup, Figure AI, finds itself under fire for allegedly stretching the truth about its own BMW deployment. Let's switch gears from a proven milestone to a brewing controversy and find out whether Figure's story is revolutionary or just smoke in the servo stack. A new investigative report from Fortune has exposed shocking discrepancies between figure CEO Brett Adcock's public claims and what's actually happening inside BMW's Spartanburg, South Carolina factory. While Adcock has been telling investors and the media that a fleet of figure 02 robots are performing end-to-end -end operations at the plant, BMW's own statements reveal a very different reality. What began as whispers in manufacturing circles has now exploded into a full-blown controversy that threatens to undermine the company's credibility just as it seeks to raise a staggering $1.5 billion in new funding at a $40 billion valuation, a figure that would place it above established giants like Ford Motor Company. At the heart of this growing scandal is a fundamental disconnect between what Figure AI's charismatic CEO Brett Adcock has been telling the world about his company's robots working in BMW's Spartanburg, South Carolina plant, and what multiple independent reports confirm is actually happening on the factory floor. The implications of this discrepancy extend far beyond one startup's growing pains. They strike at the very heart of the burgeoning humanoid robotics industry and raise uncomfortable questions about whether we're witnessing genuine technological breakthroughs or carefully orchestrated hype designed to separate investors from their money. The controversy came to a head when Fortune Tech correspondent Jason Del Rey decided to fact-check a February LinkedIn post by Adcock that boldly declared Figure had a fleet of robots performing end-to-end -end operations at the BMW facility. This would represent a quantum leap for humanoid robotics, the kind of seamless integration into complex manufacturing processes that the industry has been promising for years, but has consistently failed to deliver at scale. Del Rey's subsequent investigation revealed a far less impressive reality. 
according to BMW's own spokesperson. As of February, the automaker was merely conducting off-hour tests with a single-figure robot at any given time, with the machine performing just one basic task, retrieving metal sheets and placing them into fixtures in preparation for welding. This is about as far from end-to-end -end operations as one could imagine in automotive manufacturing. When pressed about the glaring discrepancy between Adcock's claims and BMW's account, the automaker declined to explain and instead directed all questions back to Figure's founder, who notably failed to respond to Fortune's inquiries. This stonewalling only served to heighten suspicions that something was amiss in what was being billed as one of the most significant humanoid robotics deployments to date. The Wall Street Journal soon followed with its own investigation, uncovering additional inconsistencies in Figure's narrative. Their reporting revealed that as of April 1st, BMW had three Figure robots at its Spartanburg facility, but only one was ever in use at a time, practicing basic grasping and placement tasks exclusively during non-production hours. While BMW later updated its statement to claim that more than three robots were now being tested in both non-production and live production situations, this still fell dramatically short of the full-scale deployment suggested by Adcock's public statements. What makes these revelations particularly damaging is the timing. Figure AI is currently in the midst of raising its Series C round, seeking that massive $1.5 billion investment that would catapult its valuation to nearly $40 billion. For context, that's more than the market capitalization of household names like Spotify or Ford. Investors being asked to commit at these levels have every right to expect complete transparency about the true state of the company's technology and commercial deployments. Adcock's tendency toward hyperbolic claims isn't limited to his LinkedIn posts. In an interview with futurist Peter Diamandis, who happens to be a figure investor, the CEO stated unequivocally, we have robots there at BMW that are operating every single day. They're in Spartanburg, South Carolina. They're helping build cars. This language clearly implies meaningful ongoing contributions to BMW's manufacturing process. A characterization that appears fundamentally at odds with the limited testing scenario described by BMW itself. The day Fortune published its expose, Adcock appeared to walk back his earlier claims posting a video on X with markedly more restrained language about the BMW tests. Gone was any mention of fleets or end-to-end -end operations. Instead, he focused on incremental progress enabled by Figure's proprietary Helix AI system. This sudden shift in messaging suggests either a deliberate attempt to soften previous exaggerations or a realization that the truth was about to come out regardless. The Helix AI system itself represents another potential area of concern. Announced earlier this year as Figure's in-house replacement for OpenAI's technology, following the dissolution of that partnership, Helix has been billed as a revolutionary vision language action model, specifically designed for humanoid robotics control. Figure claims it's the first such system capable of running on multiple robots simultaneously. However, without independent verification of these claims, and given the questions surrounding Figure's other assertions, some industry observers are beginning to wonder whether Helix represents genuine innovation or just another marketing talking point, alleging that the company had exaggerated its flight testing achievements and misrepresented its FAA certification timeline. While the suit was eventually dropped, the episode left lingering questions about Adcock's approach to communicating his company's progress, questions that are now being asked with renewed urgency about figure AI. The implications of this scandal extend far beyond figure itself. The entire humanoid robotics industry is at a critical juncture, with billions of dollars pouring into startups promising near-term automation solutions. Tesla's Optimus, 1X Technologies, backed by OpenAI, and Chinese firms like Unitree Robotics are all making bold claims about their capabilities. Yet time and again, when the curtain is pulled back, the reality fails to match the hype. Tesla's much-touted Wii robot event in fall 2024, where a fleet of Optimus bots supposedly demonstrated advanced capabilities, was later revealed to rely heavily on teleoperation, with human operators secretly controlling many of the robot's actions. Similarly, customers who purchased Unitree's advanced G1 humanoid have complained that achieving the fluid movements shown in marketing materials requires expert-level programming knowledge far beyond what typical users possess. 
This pattern of overpromising and underdelivering threatens to create a crisis of confidence in the humanoid robotics sector at precisely the moment when genuine progress is being made. The danger is that legitimate innovations may get drowned out by growing investor skepticism, fueled by cases like Figure's apparent exaggeration of its BMW deployment. BMW and Figure have scheduled a joint press event for May, which many observers see as a make-or-break moment for the partnership. Will this event provide transparent demonstrations of what Figure's robots can actually do in a real manufacturing environment? Or will it be another carefully stage-managed showcase designed to dazzle while obscuring the true limitations of the technology? The stakes couldn't be higher. If Figure can't substantiate its claims with unambiguous of meaningful, scalable deployment at BMW, the consequences could be severe. Beyond the immediate impact on its ability to raise that crucial $1.5 billion, the company risks becoming a cautionary tale about the perils of hype in the robotics industry. Perhaps more importantly, this episode serves as a wake-up call for investors, journalists, and industry observers. As humanoid robotics transitions from science fiction to commercial reality, maintaining rigorous standards of accountability and transparency will be essential to separating genuine breakthroughs from marketing spin. The technology is too important and the potential benefits too significant to allow them to be undermined by overzealous claims that can't withstand scrutiny. For now, all eyes remain on Figure AI and BMW. The May event may provide clarity or it may deepen the mystery. But one thing is certain. In the high-stakes world of humanoid robotics, where billions of dollars and entire industries hang in the balance, the truth matters. And right now, there are far too many unanswered questions about what's really happening in that South Carolina factory. As this story continues to develop, it serves as a powerful reminder that in technology, as in all things, when something seems too good to be true, it usually is. The humanoid robotics revolution may indeed be coming, but if companies like Figure AI want to lead that charge, they'll need to do so with facts, not fantasies. The alternative could be a collapse in confidence that sets the entire industry back years. And that's a future nobody in robotics can afford. Thanks for tuning and we'll catch you in the next update.